What's up guys, Joel Lemons here once again and today we are talking about the unboxing of the Nucleus, 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 Nucleus N. So this is um, by Tilter, it's a wireless follow focus and again it's made in China people, China. So we should stop talking about it's grey market, grey market, grey market, it's bad, it's from China, it's bad. This is by China. Now, um, the Nucleus N is only going for under £300. You can pick one up used for around £150, £175, £180, depending on the condition. Um, I'm not going to waste much time on it because you've heard so much about this device. Um, it allows you to do follow focus pulling for focus pullers. It allows you to um, um, wirelessly control your camera, zoom or iris at the same time. Not at the same time, either one. So um, if we look at the box, it's saying extremely quiet. We're going to have to review that. Um, battery efficient. Easy operation. Um, highly compatible with various cameras. Miniature motor, meaning very small, very light, compact, and then auto calibration. So that's the information we got on here, nothing else. As I said, by Tilter. So we're just gonna unbox it. Um, I'm supposed to do this unboxing a long time ago. Um, I've had it for uh, about three weeks and I've only used it once. And um, I know there's going to be more use for it, but for now, I've literally used it once that was testing. So until I really get a full-on hands-on use, I'll be able to give you more feedback on that. But for now, uh, let's have a look at... Nice. Very nice, as you can see. A very nice packaged device. Tilter, that's one thing I love about Tilter. They always go out to make sure that the presentation is nice. So this thing, definitely I'm not keeping it because you know I keep a lot of boxes depending on it. Yes, it's nice and black, but it's matte. And as you can see, it's got so many scratches on it. So that will go to the bin. But this package, I'm definitely keeping. Um, as much as it will not fit in my camera bag, but it's very nice for storage when not in use. So, whew, this is nice. Look at the presentation. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. All black. This is what I was talking about with Canon EOS R. If they could have done something like this, foam, laser cutout design, the camera sits in there, neat. This could potentially hold the Canon EOS R. That's if, again, you get your laser cut out without a lens, by the way. So, um, I'm blabbing too much. Let's get to it. This is the battery charger, standard USB. It's got a left and right connector for the battery to be charged. You've got this micro USB to micro USB cable, and then you've got this micro USB to whatever port it is. I think this is for the tilter gimbal. So it can be plugged directly in there for you to power up your motor. That is that. You get a free small rod to attach this to the base of your camera and the rod goes in here and then you have, uh, let's get it out. You have that beautiful Nucleus N motor. Very, very light, feels very, very light. So that'll go on here, you tie it down, attach it to your lens and you're ready to calibrate. So let's push this aside. This is the motor. This is the gimbal clamp 
that will allow you to attach the follow focus to um, when you're using um, the tilter um, stabilizer, the tilter gimbal. So that is the clamp and this is the battery. It looks like a standard AA battery, however it's not because the standard AA battery does not power up the device. So this comes with two batteries and then um, this is a small clamp that attaches to the gimbal via this and then you can attach this beautiful piece of artwork to it. So that will slide in, clamp it down once that is attached to the gimbal. But back to this thing. This is a piece of artwork. If it really works as it should, this is beautiful. It's got the Tilter logo engraved in, nicely printed in there. You can feel it. It's very, very nice. And that wood touch is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. It's buttery smooth. I'm saying this because I own the Zeiss CP3 lens and you know with cinema camera, um, cinema lenses the follow focus and the iris um, dials are very very smooth but this feels very very nice very very nice um, again it's got the tilter logo right here you've got your record button that is if you're using any of the cables to attach it directly to the gimbal or to your camera directly some of the cameras um, will be able to trigger record via this follow focus pull, um, uh, puller um, I'm not sure what camera I've heard rumors that the a7 um, a7 Sony series one of them will be able to use the, tr um, the trigger here definitely not for the red um, it's got a calibration um, button right here for auto calibrate as I said on the box and then you've got your back and forth um, button and then your settings button and also if you can see here next to the record button you have um, digital indicators of what's going on and then at the back here you've got the contacts that actually links up with the gimbal there are some contacts there that this will match up to and then here you've got your 5 volt USB-C input and that um, I believe that is to charge this device because again it's wireless so there shouldn't be any cables dangling from it but this is a piece of art so it is the battery slot it takes only one battery at a time and it's supposed to last a long time so let's see when I get projects that I actually need this for I'll get a chance to actually really review it and I'll give you feedback on that if there is something that I missed about this let me know but I really love this um, wood dark wood to black finish design on top that is metal that is wood this is all metal so stay tuned for more and I'll catch you on the next one peace out